<laughs> this is what indistractable is all about. So it, to become indistractable, there are four key steps. Okay, the first yeah. step is to master the internal triggers. We need to realize that all distraction, all procrastination, whenever it is you don't do what you say you're going to do, whether it's uh, I said I was going to exercise, but I didn't. I said I was going to eat healthy, but I didn't. I said I was going to work on that big project, but I didn't. Whatever the case might be, whenever you don't do what you said you're going to do, there's only one reason. And that one reason is that you don't know how to properly handle uncomfortable emotional sensations. Okay, that's it. Everything we do, all human behavior is spurred by a desire to escape discomfort. So the most important step is to realize that time management is pain management. Let me say that again. Time management is pain management. You will always get distracted by one thing or another if we do not learn what to do with our boredom, loneliness, anxiety, fatigue, uncertainty. If you constantly look for escape from that discomfort, you will find it. It's not about the technology. You'll find a way to distract yourself from those uncomfortable sensations. The second step is to make time for traction. You see, you cannot call something a distraction unless you know what it distracted you from. Let me say that again. You can't call something a distraction unless you know what it distracted you from. So if you have blank time on your calendar, you cannot complain that you got distracted because what did you get distracted from? If you look at top CEOs, top management, top VCs, people who kill it at their game, they schedule out every minute of their day. They know where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing for every minute of their day. We can all adopt this practice and we need to throw away these stupid to-do lists. One of the worst things you can do for your personal productivity is to run your life on a to-do list. It's a horrible technique that works for almost nobody is running your life on a to-do list. Now, to-do lists are great for task management, right? Keeping a list of the things you need to do is fine. It's horrible for time management. It's good for task management, not time management. Do not run your life with a to-do list. Run your life based on your calendar. The third step is to hack back the external triggers, okay? So this is where we talk about all those pings, dings, and rings that can lead us towards distraction. So simple stuff like, how about turning off those notifications while you're working, right? Everybody's phone comes with this wonderful feature called do not disturb while driving that very few of us use. It's a wonderful feature. I'm not sure if you use it. Here's how it works. You push a button. And if anybody calls or texts you while you have this feature on, they will automatically receive a reply that says, I can't talk right now, but if this is urgent, text me the word urgent and the message will come through. And then the last step of the hook model is to prevent distraction with packs. So one of the reasons that people find themselves more distracted now because of COVID is that they don't have the social pressure to stay on task. So when we used to work in an office, if you start you know, putzing around on uh, Candy Crush or playing you know, some video game on your computer, people can see, right? Mm -hmm. So it keeps us in line. Whereas when we're at home by ourselves, well, we can putz around and do all kinds of distracting stuff. <laughs>